Hey everyone, what's going on? I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going back to a Mars photo. This time we're going way back in the Curiosity days. We're going back to Sol 123. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See it up here, it's NASA, Mars Curiosity rover, and you can see right here, Sol 123, left navigation camera, nav cams. And of course, you can download it right here, um, and it is the original image. And once you download it, you can just do this here. There it is. Now, if you have a software like Photoshop, GIMP, or anything of that sort, you want to blow this picture way up. Why do I say that? Because JPEGs, you know, they fall apart very easy. So we got to start from a large photo to begin with in order to see this. What we want to see is right here in the very back. And you can see my cursor right at the top of the screen. Right down here is where we want to look. So what happens when you take a JPEG like this and try to zoom into it? Well, I can show you that. We can zoom in pretty good but check this out guys i don't have to do anything to this photo and it's almost easy peasy check this stuff out right here and i'm going to show you this much better but right here this looks like some kind of block or corner of some kind of structure you can see it right here and i'm going to show you another surprise i didn't even know was there until i started to really look into this photo i was like whoa here check the way this thing does this goes around like this up goes across back down see it and it's actually got a side to it. You can actually see, like I said, you can just see this side here. It's just like this one, just in the dirt. Goes straight across, comes curves down, and appears to have a side to it right there. See it? But there's other things in this photo. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's get out of this. All right. Here it is right here. Now, here's the size of the photo that it was. This is what I'm talking about. Now, it's shown right here at the very bottom of the screen. It's showing 8.33%. Now look at it now, still 8.33%. Now we're gonna go back into this, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All we gotta do is zoom in. Okay, now let me just show you guys something, not doing hardly anything to this photo, watch this. We're gonna just click up here, image, go to adjustments, just the exposure. That's all we're gonna do to this thing. Right now, I'm gonna show you, and you don't need to do much to it. Watch this. Bring it up, okay. Just this alone was enough to show this big time. You've got this item right here I was looking at, right? Okay, and you can see the way this thing goes like this, comes up like this, goes over, comes like this. It almost looks like it has this weird, like it's got a curvature because this has this weird piece in it, but it also does this. It appears to have three holes. And you can see that right there. Now let's see if we can bring up the exposure just a little bit more see if you can see those see that you can see one is one two three it looks like there's three darker holes right there right now now that i blew this up check this out look at this stuff right here right here okay in fact i'm going to go ahead and do this again and i'm going to bring this up just like this and get rid of the lines and just bring this up for you okay now I want you to take note of several things. This one I just showed you, which is right here. Okay. Now, we've got this piece. Looks like a corner of something. See that? And you can see it kind of goes off like this. Let me even do this on the line. But anyway, it comes like this. You got right here. Nice 90 degree corners. See that? Right? And it wasn't until I just started to make this one on the right that I noticed this object. But I was like, oh, okay, so there is another part to this as well, right? Why do I say that? Right here is another nice flat edge. And this object, do you see what I'm talking about? Right here, goes like this, goes up, comes down, goes like this, and goes back down. Circle. 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 This is right there, guys. I haven't done anything to this photo. There it is right there. Let me zoom in just a little bit more for you guys. Well, that's a little too much, isn't it? Right there. Check this out. Come on. Look at this. But it gets a little bit better. Let me back up a little bit. Again, here's that other item. Perfectly straight on the left. Has this curvature. And it appears to go back. And you can just see the little this part right here. That's all you can see out of it, right? But there's other objects. In addition to that, we also have something right here. Running up like this. It's just white, that's all it is. Now this may be nothing but something in the background, meaning it's part of the ridge, but check that out. Now, 
Let's go on with this, and I want to show you what I'm talking about. So now I, I, I darkened it up a little bit to see if we can get any more details out of this, and this is what we've got. You can see these objects pretty done good now. Whatever the hell these things are, are in the photo. And like I said, guys, look at it. I'm just going to go back and forth to the original. And you can see the lines. You can see the objects. Of course, it's going to be in white, but that's fine. It'll show up now to this. Right here. And then, of course, we'll darken it up. And you can see it like that. Come on, guys. Look at this. These little objects right here. I'm not sure if this item here is part of this back item. I'm not sure what to make of that, but clearly there's other objects in this photo. Again, it looks like a disaster area. Something that's been blown to pieces, stuff laying all over the place, and what we used to see, or what we're seeing, is bits and pieces of this civilization. Look at this. I didn't even see this fourth one earlier. Look at this. Right there, very faint. There's a fourth one. Got another hole right here. I'm not sure what to make of this right here again, I'm not, but I just used a little bit of a burn, and that's what I saw. Boom, that popped out. And I don't really even care about this. Like I said, I don't need to do a whole lot to see that these other objects in the photo. Check this out. Something buried in the ground. Again, we've got this other piece here. Okay. There's something right here. It's almost look like they almost look like vehicles. That's what's crazy, man. It's just like, see this? Almost like buried vehicles. And guys, you know, yeah, they might say, oh, it's like a pareidolia. To me, okay, it's just something you relate in your mind, what you see here on Earth. I guess if you want to call it pareidolia, I guess so. But when you see this, check this out. It's like a body of a vehicle right there. Looks like just a tip of a back window. And I mean, like, let's say this is a truck and this is the box part of it right here. Okay. Front of it. Here's the roof. Goes across. Windshield. Side window. And a smaller window. Now, is it a vehicle? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like something buried in the ground. And that's what it looks like. It looks like another one over here. Fully enhanced. Tell me what you see here. But this to me, no way. This, that's just absolute proof to me. Look at this. And again, all I did was, let's forget about only, any other details. Let's just bring up the exposure. And there you go. There's that stuff right there. I'm going to do this in white. There you go. Zoom in just a little bit. We don't want it too distorted. We want you guys to be able to see that without it breaking apart. But there you go. Anyway, guys, you be the judge. Let me know what you think. Let's back back out of here. Just give you better perspective. And guys, to be truthful, a lot of people ask, for, you know, can you tell me what the scaling is? It's hard to tell, guys, because they haven't really added a, a scale to this. Here's the actual rover right here. We can see it. If you were standing next to this thing, you'd be pretty tall near it. Okay. If I had to guesstimate, and of course it's a rough guesstimate, we'll call it 50 to, 50 to 80 feet away. To these pieces. As always, guys, you be the judge. Tell me what you think. That's what I love about some of these photos, guys. You just don't know what you're going to see. Um, some things are just plain right there in your face. Some things you have to pull out of, you know, these uh, photos. And I don't mind doing that because it, it exposes these things that are sitting right there in plain sight to a certain degree because it's not plain sight if you can't see it unless you dig it out, right? But like this stuff here, these three items, what look like this, it could have been, some people would say it's probably a petrified tree type thing. But then you get this, what looks like a corner of a table or a structure or whatever it may be with two 90 degree angles. Looks like it has a leg. And then, of course, you got this other design that almost looks like a stretched out Z with these four holes in it. What could that possibly be? And why is it on Mars? Let's suppose we never find out what these things are because people go, oh, it's your pareidolia. Okay, I don't know what they are, so it's clearly not my pareidolia, but I do know they don't look like simple rocks, and I think you guys will agree. Anyway, guys, as I said, drop your comments and thoughts below. Let me know what you think. Like, and always, please share these videos. It's important to get this stuff out. And guys, I got some more moon stuff coming up, as well as more Mars, and I got some other stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one.